Well, good morning, everybody. I haven't been doing much. I've been a little depressed. I haven't even talked to my friends, and my friends ain't called me and checked on me either, so I guess they ain't very good friends. <laughs> uh, let's see. I did get out and go to the thrift store. I bought this at the thrift store. It said it's solid metal. It says United States Navy. Proud to serve, but I bought it with a coffee cup. I like to put them like you can put them on uh, the old wood stoves or whatever. And I, I've been putting paintbrushes in them, you know, just dry, not wet ones, but dry ones. I just have a holder to hold them. I've got two or three mugs. But uh, I thought I like this one because uh, it had a big wide bottom. You can sit and keep. I don't drink coffee, but I drink tea. So I don't know about that. We tried to test it out. And then while I was out, I bought two of these bucket little deals here. And it, uh, oh, I paid a dollar for that mug. I paid a dollar ninety-one cents for these. And it's got a little tray in it. Now I usually use these for my fishing equipment. I got two of them. That's all they had. I'd have bought more of these, but I didn't, they didn't have any. And I paid a dollar ninety-one cents for it. Good. Enough. It's got a little rubber seal, so they're waterproof. I like that. Especially if you're going out kayaking or whatever. In fact, I gotta get my kayak out. I've been depressed because I was wanting to get up and get up north and before this heat got me and the heat's already here, it's been a hundred. So that ain't good. Uh, I gotta get my amulets fixed. It's gonna cost me around five, six hundred dollars to get it fixed. It's a fuel pump they claim. And it's two fifty for the fuel pump and that's what we basically charged me for the they charge uh, about the same for parts as they do for the labor, he said. And then I gotta get it towed over there because I can't get the damn thing to start. That's what the problem is, can't get it to start. Uh, let's see. I bought some other stuff. I can't even remember what all I bought. Just at the thrift store. Uh, what did I buy? Oh, I think I showed you some of the stuff the other last time. I haven't been making videos either. I've been depressed. When I get depressed, <laughs> I've been trying to get out of this one pretty quick, but sometimes I get depressed and I'll stay off of the internet for two or three weeks or a month. I just don't talk to nobody. Sometimes I don't know whether that's good or bad. Uh... I gotta go to the doctor to Monday. Uh, the nurse called, said she wasn't coming this week. So she called the other day, I don't know, on Tuesday or something like that, said she wasn't coming. And she'd see me next week. I said, okay. And uh, she went over my medicines. She said, I need to get my medicine at the base rather than my little private drugstore. Or because I'm going. Uh, in other words, it wouldn't cost me nothing, blah, blah, blah. In other words, you're trying to save me money. And I said, well, I ain't going out there. I mean, hell, he's staying in line forever. She said, well, then go to Walmart. And it, uh, because uh, your, your private insurance would pick up the bill at Walmart instead of going to this independent one, which is a mom and pop shop. Basically, it's just a little private drugstore. And I like it because they know everybody and who somebody's calling me. Oh well. I ain't answered the damn phone, it's the damn doctor. They'll leave a message. He wanted to know if I'm gonna be there Monday. Oh hell yes, I'm gonna be there Monday. But anyway. They told me to, uh, she was a little perturbed at me because I'm not listening to her. She said, I don't see why you spend money at a, that. I said, well, they, all, uh, they know me. They said, well, if you went to a, 
a big conglomerate or about at the air, at the air base. You can get your medicine for free. Everything's free. I said, well, hell, it ain't that much. But I'm thinking about it. Go ahead and do what the hell she said. But I'm, I'm going to use probably Walmart. I ain't going out there. You go out to base, you got to go through the, uh, all kinds of shit. You know, the entry getting in. And then I don't go out there unless I go to the commissary and all that. Nah, hell with it. I ain't going out there. I go to Walmart or my damn little private drugstore. I like my cup, though. Good old heavy cup. I've got to get my ambulance fix. That's what's depressing me, I think, the most. I've got to get it towed over there. I've got to move the bus so they can get into the get the ambulance. I've got to unload the ambulance because I'm not going to leave it. i got TVs and all kinds of little odds and ends stuff that I don't want picked up and put in their pockets. So I'm going to put it, uh, have it unloaded. What else? Hell, I don't know. Just a bunch of shit I've never do. Uh, hope you guys leave me a message. Try to get me out of my funk. I did buy some vitamins. I ran out of vitamins. I had to buy some more. Oh, uh, another thing she said. You're, well, you're not using your discount of I get... $35, $45 worth of over-the-counter medicines or supplies over-the-counter uh, every month. And uh, she said, well, you didn't make your order last month. And I, so uh, she said, well, uh, I'll help you make the order. What do you want? And I told her, well, I need more vitamins and vitamin C and multivitamin for men and something else. And, uh, because I get that every month. It's on my, uh, due to my insurance. I just hadn't felt like doing anything. She's, well, you didn't order it last month, and you need to order it every month, whatever you, you know, you need, Band-Aids. I said, well, I like to have some 91% alcohol. Well, they looked on the list, and they didn't have it on the list, so therefore. She said, well, they got 70%. I said, well, it won't burn in my alcohol, so. <laughs> she said alcohol is supposed to be used for, you know, a medical deal. I said I burn it in my wood in my alcohol stove. <laughs> Crazy, uh, but it's hard to find. Or that denatured alcohol is getting where it's hard to find. Because uh, I burn it in my alcohol stove. Oh, I did buy a little small alcohol stove, by the way. I found it at a thrift store. This came from the thrift store, and the uh, the other two things came from. Uh, Goodwill. They were a dollar ninety one cents a piece. Yeah, for these little old needles with a tray in it. Yeah, dollar ninety one. It's got a rubber seal in it. I like that. I usually use them for fish. Go fishing. What else did I do? Hell, I ain't been doing much. Been depressed. Uh, she just never said, "Well, that ain't an excuse." Uh, I've been using it for a damn good excuse for me. Uh, what else? I don't even know what else. That's my problem. I don't know what else. Uh, I bought that antique lamp. I need to show you guys that. Haven't been painting paintings. I haven't done crap, nothing. Try to sleep most of the day, which don't work either. Oh, I did get my other phone out and charge it up, or charging it up now. In case I want to be up north. Oh, it's $99. Oh, oh I asked this woman how much was this box that she uh, ships from Israel. It's $99 a month for supplies. And all my news is full of is Black Lives Matter. That's about all they're doing. Yeah, that's about all it's on this, on this thing. Which it does matter, but the point about it is they got a mess. Uh, I 
I'm more worried about the coronavirus right this minute. I believe all that protesting, I think it's your uh, level is going to go way up high. I'm catching the coronavirus again. Oh well, I'm going to have to let you guys go. And remember, if you care about me, drop me a line. Maybe it'll get me out of my depression. I always thought, well, you got to call and check on friends. I scratched my neck yesterday going out doing something that has been bothering me. Uh, my, since I had that cancer, if I get scratched around the neck or the around you know, here, it takes months for it to get well. And I'm just checking to see if it was, it's got a light stab or bruise on it or something. It's doing better. And that's been about a week ago, so it finally got a scab on it. And I better not pick it off because it'll bleed. I scratched my chin the other day and it ain't got well yet either. I'm falling apart. Uh, I did get out to the thrift store, which helped a lot. What else can I tell you? Bought a big meal of groceries I put up. Uh, let's see. I bought me some uh, energy bars. I figured out, hey, energy bars. Come to find out, they're mostly sugar. <laughs> yeah, that ain't good for a diabetic either. Hell, I can't win for losing. Uh, it tastes good. I had one. Of course, it run my sugar about 300, so <laughs> that's about the only one I'll probably get to eat. I'll have to go back to my egg diet and vegetables. I did lay off of meat for a while, and then I started back with fish. Really, m meat is really not that all that good for you, but you need protein. But there's a lot of vegetables that give you some protein, nuts and, and stuff like that. I put my teeth in to eat nuts. I like uh, pecans. Pecans or pecans, I call them pecans. In the south, they call them pecans. Pecans. But anyway, I like pecans. But I've been uh, grinding them up in my coffee grinder and then spreading them over my cereal or whatever. Uh, bran flakes without no sugar or nothing in it. So, you know, ooh, like eating cardboard. But it's good for you. Fiber is good for you. Well, if you really like me, whatever, give me a line. Keep check on your friends. Hell, who knows what they're up to. I better let you guys go. Tie up your morning too much. Talk to you guys later.